Welcome back everyone. We're using this cord that I've used once before in Keldeo Mamoswine. The idea is Keldeo really cannot touch Galarian Sloking or Claude Sire at all, but Mamoswine is really good into both of them. So hopefully we can support Keldeo and it can get a lot of kills. What I want to do right here is lead off with my... I mean Mamoswine is great into everybody except Valiant and I'm not worried about Valiant when I have like Unaware Clef. So let's try this right now. They lead Kirim, so if this is special, I can easily beat it. I think I want to just go for the Earthquake immediately and see what they do. They have Scale Shot. Okay, so I'll live this, and they're going to have a defense drop, so... Let's see how much of my max attack Adamant Earthquake does to Kirim right now. That should be Shard range. I mean, Shard is obvious, but I'm going for it here. I don't think they'll have a Terror that resists Shard. Like, maybe Steel is a thing, but... Maybe they think I'm locked in too, but then again, why would I be locked in? Because if they were choice banned, they would have died. Okay, so they let me get the kill. Or if I was choice banned, rather. Out comes Dragonite. This is just screaming E-speed, obviously. Just gonna go for the, the knockoff here, I think. They do go for the E-speed. I could have tried to go Corviknight, but it didn't really feel worth it, in my opinion. This Clefable is gonna kill everybody. What I want to do here is go out into my Corviknight and... I'm going to double into Clefable because it covers both. I think they're going to go Garchomp is the thing, but they don't have to, actually. They go Val, weirdly enough. Okay. I mean, I want to go Clef on this and just either get a Barox or Thunder Wave it. I do like the Thunder Wave idea a lot. As they actually have Thunder Wave on Valiant. What? Okay, then. Good to know, I guess. Do I go Gliscor? They could have knockoff. I don't think they're going to Thunder Wave again. Let's go for rocks here. I could go Gliscor, but Gliscor seems really good into the end game here. Like, Toxic can hit everybody. I wonder if it's Trick Room Diancie at the end. Okay, they just go for T Wave again, and then they get the Revenge Para hacks. Okay, this is really annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to go hard into Corviknight here on the Moonblast, and then U turn out. I should be slower still, which is the important thing. And then we're going to U-turn into Deoxys and try to kill this. Can I get a move off? <laughs> that would be really cool. I mean, Aura Sphere. We get the U-turn off. Nice. I could also go Keldeo, which is faster right now. Probably the better idea, in all honesty. Because Keldeo Surf does kill this. It does kind of invite in Dragonite after, which I don't like, but it's okay. We can probably play around that. Let me just make sure that without Terra, I kill, but I'm pretty sure this takes like 110 minimum. 114 minimum, okay. So let's go ahead and hit him right now. Either they sack him on or they give me the Dragonite multi-skill. I'm okay with either option. This should not be a Terra that resists water. Like, nobody runs Terra Dragon Valiant. Nobody runs Terra Water Valiant. Unless they run the one-off liquidation set, but that's really not a thing anymore. I might regret letting my Clefable get paralyzed, though, because they have a lot of setup Pokemon on this team. Like, I'm assuming Necrozma is a setup set, and that's a problem. So, out it comes. I'm tempted to just attack it and kind of just say, you know what, I don't want to let you set up for free. Should I Terra Water and attack it? Because then I can also live Photon Geyser. It could be a waste if I do that, but I think I will. Because how much is this doing? 90? Yeah, and they go for Photon, so now they have to let me knock them out. And they're going to bring out the Dragonite, I guess. I'm just going to go Clef. Like, I don't want to sack that if I don't need to, when the priority could matter at the end. Okay, well, we're going to get hacked out of this. I can already see it, but... Hopefully not. <laughs> I would really like to not lose my mon for no reason. Okay, they're going for the sweep. What's your last move? Let's Thunder Wave this just in case. I mean, I'm unaware, so they're not doing extra damage right now. It's just if they Dragon Dance enough and then Para hacks through my Clefable, I lose. So that's the tricky thing here. But that would be crazy, right, if a Dragonite was actually able to... Can I just get a move off? 
There we go. Okay, so now I Moonlight here. Hopefully I don't get full parried this turn. We don't. Nice. We don't again. Do I get greedy and go for rocks? I think it's more important to break multi-scale. As they actually go Diancy this turn. Okay, so... This is like totally Trick Room or something, right? I guess it could be IDEF. IDEF would make a lot of sense. Or like Combine Draining Kiss. Oh, it's a Meteor Beam. And they, they didn't hit their move. Okay, let's Toxic here. I'm not worried about this anymore. Like, I go you because they try to Ice Spinner and then I just... I mean, I can try to Roost. And now I'm just going to U-turn. I guess they DD again, but like... No, they don't want to. So now I'm going to Moonblast here and knock this out. It's just going to come down to whether Garchomp wants to kill everything. So they're going to go for SD, right? They kind of have to. I just stay into Moonblast, obviously. Never let them scale shot to get the speed boost, and then I just try to revenge them using either Keld or Deoxys. That should be correct, and then Diancy last Mon. I mean, I guess the Meteor Meme Misk could have mattered, because then Gliscor couldn't take the hit later. But I would always be able to Toxic it, right? I wonder what it is, though. Is it like Meteor Beam Rock Polish, or... Who knows? Either way, though, like, all I gotta do is make sure this doesn't get the... Scale shot boost, and we are chilling right now. I wonder if Earthquake knocks me out from 52. They double in Diancy. Okay, I mean, good play. I'm just gonna go Gliscor and Toxic here. Meteor Beams manually. <laughs> okay, sure, dude. And then, I think the guaranteed way to do this is... Now I go Clef to prevent them from scale shotting and we just win, yeah. Because then Caldeo can come in and knock it out. Let's go for Surf right here and that'll be this game, nice. Never got swept by anybody, <laughs> thankfully. We have a team here that looks really weak to Mamoswine. I just wish they didn't have a Rotom Heat because that kind of walls it. I can knock off the item and then get up rocks and pressure it that way. That's probably what I'm going to try to do. Here's the thing though. Most people who have a Dragapult lead off with it from what I've seen. Do I want to go for the early rocks, even though Iron Treads could be a threat, or would I rather lead Mamo? Knowing it could get will o by the Dragapult is the thing. Let's go with this. They do lead Dragapult. Okay, so... How much do I care about getting Wisped is the problem here. I think I would rather just go for the knockoff. As they go Rotom. Okay, perfect. So no more boots immediately. There we go. This thing could have will o -Wisp. I mean... I don't know if this actually does anything to Clefable. There's the Willow. They know I'm not Magic Guard now, but that's okay. They're going to go out into their Iron Treads, but it's going to be on a Volt Switch, which is the problem. I could have tried to be aggressive and gone Gliscor, but like if they Willow as I switch into that, it's just not worth it at all. So let's get up Rocks here, force the spin from the Treads, and I think I want to go out into... Wait, they go Garg. What? Okay, well, I guess I get to keep rocks up for now. Salt here is a bit scary, I will admit that. I mean, I can't status it. I can't really go out into the mon that threatens it either, because Keldeo, like, can't take salt cures. What if I go Mamo here and threaten it that way? But Mamo Swine's my biggest threat now, because I have the Rotom Heat kind of in a bad spot. Oh, they're going for Curse, okay. Well, here's the plan. I'm just going to keep on Moonblasting until they're forced to recover, which I think they would do this turn. And then let's go Keldeo here. There we go. This could be Terra Water. Terra Grass. Okay, so I'm going to Secret Sword here. Does an okay amount, in all honesty. Like, I'm not that upset with the damage I did. So this turn, let's go Mammoth Swine on the Curse. I'm just going to go for Terra Ice here. Like, I'm doing 42. I just need one flinch or crit. Surely one thing happens soon, right? There's a flinch. They're still committing to here, but they have, like, limited recovers. 
Salt cures me there. Does a lot. I got hacks. Come on, just crit it. It's not hard. I crit it. Okay, nice. So we eventually get rid of that. What I want to do here is... Dragonite's scary. I wish I still had Mammo, but then again, I kind of had to use it there in that instance. If I go Deoxys... Here's my thing. I think they're going to try to go out into Iron Treads to spin, which makes me want to go Keldeo. But I could also try to predict Pult, and in that case, I would rather go Dio. Let's go Dio. They do go Treads. That's so unfortunate. I would have rather had gone Keldeo then. But they're going to spin, right? So let's super... But they didn't spin. Update. That was not a rabbit spin. I'm going to Vacuum Wave here. I might have thrown this, like, losing that mon there is kind of a big deal against this Pult when I don't know what the Pult is yet. Either way though, I just want to keep these rocks up, so let's make sure we're vacuum waving right now. Can I win this game? Okay, so it's Boots, good to know. I'm gonna go Gliscor here, I don't think they Willow here, like, it should be... <laughs> I'm so bad and lucky, okay. I really didn't think they would Willow into a Keldeo, but I guess they had no reason not to, considering my switch-ins are this or Corv, but we managed to get in, which is great. That doesn't do much because I'm Spadef, yeah. I'm just, if I win this, it's all luck, but we take those. Hexes again. Then I dodge a Hydro. I'm really talented at the game, by the way. <laughs> So what's happened so far? I've flinched the Garganacle, crit the Garganacle, dodged a Willow, and then dodged a Hydra Pump. Kind of a meme. Goes ahead and gets rid of my hazards eventually. That's understandable. Goes Rotom. I go you and the Secret Sword, right? There's a lot, honestly, to the, that one. Doubles in Dragonite. I mean, I go Corv here. Go with treads, but now this is faster. I still secret sword. Okay, so now they're gonna go Claude Sire, I think. Well, I mean, I guess they go Pult, right? Wait, D Knight. I mean, I'm down to play this game. I mean, if they crit me back, you know what? <laughs> I can't say much, just because. Of how lucky I got against them, but they don't. Yeah, okay, very lucky game. I can't really complain if I get lucked in a game right now, but my opponent here has a Galarian Sloking, so I think that my Mamoswine is going to be very good into that. I want to be a bit more careful about Garganacle right now. The problem is, if it is a physical set, like, if it's Curse, and I have to threaten it with a physical attacker like I did last game, there's really not a whole lot I can do about it, so let's hope that's not the case again. I'm going to lead off with Mamo here. And then, I mean, they could click knockoff, but I'm always going Corv. Corv is like okay in this game into Tusk, but I have other ways to deal with Tusk, like these two outspeeding it, and then Clefable can take like bulk upsets on. So if they knock off my helmet, it's unfortunate, but not the end of the world, right? Goes for BP. I know they're clicking knockoff this turn. I think. I mean, they could also U turn or just go hard into a threat like this, yeah. But I can go Mamoswine, because Mamoswine doesn't mind this unless it's superpower, and nobody runs that set anymore, from what I've seen. They're always the same, like, healing wish, three attack stuff with Moonblast, Earth Power, Mystical Fire. Do I want to make plays, though, or do I just click Icicle Crash? I think I just crash, honestly. Like, if they go Scizor, it's a bit annoying, but I'll at least force it to Roost, maybe. Earthquake would honestly kill, I think. And I don't think they're bullet punching again. Because, like, I have a Rocky Helmet Corviknight that you just can't afford to come in on. Is it worth the risk, though, is the question. No, not at all. Let's go Corv. I guess what I can do is check whether or not this is banded damage, right? So, Corviknight against Scizor. Okay, it's not banded. Actually, no, it is banded, yeah, because this is Life Orb. So that means they don't have Roost, meaning I just always go Corviknight here and don't risk it at all. They went for knockoff, so I don't know if my Earthquake would have actually killed, but it's fine. They finally bring in their Garg, which is understandable. I don't like this Mon. 
Maybe what I do is I body press it once to weaken it. I mean, I'm down to play the hazard game, dude. That's fine. Goes ahead and salt cures there. That's okay. So recover, maybe body press on the last slot, or is it curse? Goes in amorous. This thing is a pain, don't get me wrong. I kind of want to stay in because I'm spadef, but I have a salt cure on me, which makes it a lot tougher to do. I don't know what they thought I would go out into. Maybe my Corviknight? But I think it's very likely that they're choiced into that move. 37 looks like choice specs because I'm spitf Gliscor, so... Like, Enamorous? Why is Mystical Fire not on the default set? <laughs> Mystical Fire... Yeah, they're choice specs into that, meaning... So if they want to switch this turn, they would want to bring out their... Tusk or Kyurem, and Keldeo can cover both the Mystical Fire and the Kyurem slash Tusk play, so... There we go, we got that right. And I'm just gonna flip turn here on whatever they bring in. This guy doesn't have a water immunity like the last guy, so... Allows me to freely do things like this. I just Earthquake, it's a no-brainer, like... If Enamorous comes in... I mean, I could have also knocked, but then they would not be choice locked anymore, which would be a bit scary. I sure doesn't kill, right? I know I'm calcing a lot, but I want to optimize these turns. I sure it actually could. Goes hard Kyurem on the Ice Shard. It did take Spike's damage, so very likely Choice Specs here. I'm just going to Earthquake, though. Because Choice Specs to Draco, as you can see. Like, okay, it actually could kill. <laughs> even with the, uh, the thing. 88. It's actually very likely to kill. I'll sack the Gliscor. Yeah, I did go for Draco. Okay, so I'm assuming it is Choice Specs. What's my best play? Maybe Mamo again? Like, I don't hate that idea. Just because Mamo Swine is going to win, though, so I don't know if I want to, like, use it, but... It's either Mamo Swine or Keldeo. Keldeo is, like, Galarian Sloking Fodder, though. Let's go Mamo. And let's... Let's click Icicle Crash here. Just because it covers the Enamorous this time, and it also is able to... Don't crit me. Cool. Ice Shard should kill now. It would have put the Scizor in range of Ice Shard if it didn't KO that, so... Pretty good turn. I don't know if they want to switch this turn. I mean, like, Ice Shard will kill them. I just want to make sure that I'm keeping Mamoswine's health intact, because I want to make sure I can switch into rocks later. Can Mamoswine really endgame this? I don't know. Like, Great Tusk is a threat, obviously, but we have the Clef, like I've been saying the entire game. I'm hoping that can deal with it. Garganackle, always a problem. That's going to be the Terramon, so we get rid of that. Nice. The problem right now is Scizor. So this one's to spin, right? I'm going to go out into Clef here. If it's Heavy Slam, it's Heavy Slam, but they normally never are. They actually go for close combat. Maybe they thought they would be able to threaten Corviknight that turn with that, but it's okay. I mean... I'll click rocks here and see what they do. Wait, did this take spikes? Oh, it's probably a salt vest? Or wait, did I ever knock it? Why is it not boots? I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to go Corviknight this turn. So now they want to spin, right? For sure. Let's go for the U-turn here. Bring in my Clef and get up rocks again. I wish I had a Ghost Mon because if I was able to just keep up hazards, this would be free. But it is what it is. Goes for Psy Shock that time. Okay. Let's roost up on the Psy Shock. They really want to just spam it, which is weird. I think I U-turn back into Clef this turn and try to Thunder Wave them. But I'm going to lose to the Grey Tusk probably. Goes for Psy Shock. Do you have Sludge Bomb? No, you have Garganickle. Okay, so Garganickle. I don't know why I called it Nickel. <laughs> Let's go for Body Press here. Okay, so they commit to Terra. That's good though. I'm happy with that. So this turn they have to recover, right? This thing is too big of a threat. Let's go Dio here. Knock off the leftovers.
Okay, like, here's the problem. Can I break this or not? Go sloking. I mean, obvious knockoff is obvious. But I might as well click it, just because, like, what reason do I have not to? And then how do I break this? What's my best way? I think it has to be Keldeo. With Terra Water Surf. This should do a good amount. That did literally nothing. I just lose to this, I think, unfortunately. How many recoveries does it have? Too many. Like, I just can't break this mon. Recoveries there. Let's see how much Secret Sword is doing. Yeah, they switch it out. Like, I can't win this game, unfortunately, so we'll go ahead and move on. We have another game right here. No Garganacle, thankfully. My opponent has a very offensive team, though. Like, this is just going to come down to whether or not I get swept by Halucha, but I'm hoping that an unaware Fizz Def Clef is enough to just not have to deal with that option. They also have Iron Moth, but Mamoswine is great into that. I'm going to lead off with my Mamoswine expecting Darkrai, though, because... Like, Darkrai can't really hurt me that much. I guess Focus Blast would do a good amount. I could lead, like, Deoxys too, but... Okay, this is fine. I'm just gonna go Corviknight, and they might U-turn. But we have so many good things into Iron Moth. Like, especially defensive Gliscor is great as well. So let's go Corv as they go for Glide. Okay, perfect. This is a U-turn for me. Interestingly, they don't even care that... Okay, wait, first of all, what do I want to do? Let's go Gliscor, but they were willing to just let me attack them there even more if they wanted to. Would they Woodhammer here or U-turn? That's the question, because if they're Woodhammering, I don't want to stay in. But I think they're U-turning on the Corviknight right now. Ah, let's go Corviknight, it's not worth the risk. It's either that or I just say I'm clicking spikes and whatever. They do Woodhammer, yeah. <laughs> That's not fun, but... Goes for it again. This is okay, though. I mean, do I value momentum or health right now? Okay, so this comes out with speed booster. I'm going to go Keldeo on it. This is never super self slam from what I've seen. So let's go for Surf right now. Knock it out. Very big turn. They basically have no Surf switch-ins on their team, so that's very nice. So now, are they just going to go Halucha? Okay, sure, dude. I don't think this can ever win. Wait, that's Moonlight. <laughs> and it's dead. <laughs> Not sure what they were thinking, but... I think I just tried a Thunder Wave, maybe. As I'm able to. <laughs> yeah, this is over. It's paired there anyway, like... It's paired there. I mean, it sucks for them, but also, like, dude. So I should be faster with Keld, so I can maybe Secret Sword them. Or I just go Mamo and try to hit the attack. I don't want to do that, is the problem. Like, if I miss, that's how I lose. Keld's Secret Sword is, like, okay, but then they have Golden Go. But would they really switch this? I wouldn't. I mean, okay, Secret Sword kills, right? I don't want to, like, throw. Okay, it absolutely does. I guess we can just go Caldeo and Secret Sword. If I'm them, I don't switch it. Like, it's paralyzed. You have your boost right now. You've used Terra on it, like... Yeah, they leave it in and it dies. Okay, perfect. Out, oh, this guy comes. This is what Spinef Gliscor is here for, basically. I mean, they might knock me out with Make It Rain, but then they clicked Make It Rain, it's fine, so... They instead decide to preserve. U-turns there into Golden Go. It's... Seed? I'm just gonna tear a Water Surf and win now. Does this kill? Like, okay, I want it to kill, obviously, but I don't know if I actually need it to. Oh, it does. <laughs> Wait, that's against Mo no bulk, though, so, like, there is chances it could live here. It doesn't, yeah. <laughs> obviously, this guy would have, like, a fully offensive set just based on the way his team and the way he plays. The way his team is built, rather. 
So I just surf here as they try to sludge bomb predicting something. Or that was just their best attack, but I, I'm assuming they had Dark Pulse. And then we can wrap it up with... I was hoping I could wrap it up with the Caldeo Vacuum Wave, but they didn't knock me out, unfortunately. GG. We have UK World Cup Ladder Alt right here. Not sure what that really means. I mean, if you're playing in World Cup, you don't ladder for it, right? Isn't that like its own separate tournament? I don't know. But I'm just going to lead off with Caldeo and... Like, this looks like Glamour, but it could be Deoxys Elite, too. Mammoth Swine kind of covers both, but not really at the same time, just because they're going to get up T-Spikes with the Glamour if I do that. I would rather not take damage on Mammo, I think. Do I really mind, though? Let's just lead Mammo. Okay, they lead Deoxys. Perfect. Let's go for the knockoff here. That's not really going to do much, because I'm Assault Vest. It actually would have killed me if I wasn't, but... We get rid of that. They go out into this. I actually want to keep the Ice Shard just in case it ends up making a difference. Let's go Clef. Could have Encore, meaning I can't really heal. Let's just Moonblast. Or, I mean, <laughs> if I think they're going Glamora, I could Thunder Wave. Okay, are you Encore? Probably is, let's be honest. Oh, it isn't. Okay, so we just knock it out. Cool. I mean, I could have also not taken that damage if I just Moonblasted immediately, but this covered the Glamora more. Like, Moonblast wasn't really that good, and I could never click my other attack. Or my other attack being soft Willed, which is not an attack. It's also not soft Willed, it's Moonlight, but I'm sure one part of that sentence was correct somewhere. They got into Glamora now. I can go Keldeo, but, like, damage on Keldeo is kind of annoying. Just goes for Power Gem, okay. Let's go Keld now, and just Surf. If they're Scarfed, they're Scarfed into Power Gem. They are Sashed, okay. So I'm going to do that there. And then basically the plan is, don't lose to Dragonite. <laughs> and the way I do that is by going hard Gliscor. If they have Ice Spinner, they click it right now. But if they don't have Ice Spinner, I can Toxic. I just try to Toxic every time. Like... We get the Toxic off. I think we're good now. They don't have enough turns to do this. Goes Gouging Fire. That's okay, though. Let's go you and Surf. This thing is kind of scary, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it can win. I don't think Gambit can win, but also, like, if it's Terra Ghost, it, Gambit can always win, so. They DD there. I think I do have to keep this, which is the thing right now. What do they have for me, is my question. I'm going to sack the... Well, Deoxys is still faster, right? So... I guess it's just a matter of who do I want to sack here. It might be this, but like, okay, if it's Terra Ghost Gambit and I sack the Caldeo, I lose to Terra Ghost Gambit. If it's Terra anything else, like Caldeo can just surf it, and well, if it's anything, it's Caldeo can surf it. Do I need Corv? Okay, they go for Outrage. Okay, that's amazing. What? I literally could not ask for a better turn. So let's roost there. Let them knock themselves out. Out comes Dragonite. Probably to, you know, Encore or whatever, but you're taking too much damage again. I don't like this mon. <laughs> it's flying. Okay, enjoy this Toxic. Lumberry. Okay, I just gotta not miss this. Anyway. Why game? This is so not necessary. Okay, they're taking damage. Good. Take some more. Can you Oko me? You can't. Okay, we win the game, but dude, why the toxic dodge? <laughs> yeah, we have a team here with a Screamtail on it, so very fast Encore potential. Screamtail is actually very annoying, huh? Because... 
One, it takes my Keldeo's secret sword very well, which would be very spammable otherwise. I can't really click Surf when there's an Ogre Pond there. Let's lead Mamo. Actually, let's not lead Mamo, because if they lead Ogre Pond, I'm going to cry, so... Let's instead lead Clef. Well, this is unfortunate. Is this HO? Like, is this just Calm Mind, and that's SD, and that's SD, and that's SD, and that's Speed Booster Fiery Dance? Maybe. I don't know what to do here. Like, I'm just gonna Secret Sword. Maybe they don't go out into the Scream Tail. So we're good right now. They go Iron Moth. Okay. So we have Spitf Gliscor here. I'm just gonna use it because I don't really have another use for it here. They, of course, get the boost. Everyone gets the boost. Let's protect. These normally never have anything else to stop Gliscor. I mean, I could try to, like, be super aggressive and toxic the Ogre Pawn on the switch in. But they don't do that. So let's just Earthquake now and try to get rid of it. We are able to. Nice. So, set up Pokemon. Here's one. This is not useful. I just sacked this here. It's Spidef. It doesn't actually beat any of the other guys. They knock me out. That's fine. I was kind of anticipating I would get knocked out at some point. So basically what I can do now is either go Clefable, which... I mean, I do like the potential to keep it healthy, but let's go out into it in Thunder Wave here. If they give me Ogre Pond, I'm in such a good spot. They're SDing when they don't actually get a boost from that against this Mon, which is strange. Yeah, as you can see, that doesn't do anything. They might Terra here, which would be a good play, but they're not going to. And now they're getting triple parried? Okay, they get the crit. I mean, obviously they deserve the crit because of what I just did to them, but it would have been funny if they didn't get the crit. Earthquake should kill. Yeah, there's no way it doesn't do 48 unboosted, so let's go ahead and Earthquake it here. There we go. So the ways they can knock me out, obviously Iron Boulder, I mean this might Drain Punch me is I think the plan. Shuka, Drain Punch, okay yeah that's what I thought. It might be fine, because I go Deoxys now. It might not be fine too, I don't know. Like they can tear here to 1v1 me potentially, depending on what moves they have, but Psycho Boost will do a lot anyway, so... I really don't know what they want to do. But basically my game plan is use Deoxys plus Corviknight to get through this Iron Boulder Iron Hands thing and then go Keldeo at the end and serve their entire team. But let's think about this specifically. So if I Psycho Boost here and knock them out right now, they probably go out into the Iron Boulder and then my, try to Mighty Cleave and then I can go Corviknight. That only works if they're like bad and don't switch around this properly. But I don't know if I have a different like game plan here so let's psycho boost we knock it out what do they want to do because like here's the thing if they go scream tail i'm going to knock off its leftovers probably and then hopefully at that point keldeo can surf and then they can't click like they can't set up with iron boulder in front of keldeo after it beats scream tail so they go iron boulder now maybe the correct play is to keep this Okay, they go for SD. That is bad, but I should be able to live a couple hits right now. Let's do this correct, though. So, obviously attacking there would have been really good, but I didn't really want to sack Deoxys when it also outspeeds the Screamtail. If I Iron Defense, how much am I taking? Iron Boulder. I'm at 88. Mighty Cleave does... 66 to 78, so too much. I can't Iron Defense and then Roost. It's not going to work. Meaning I simply just click Body Press right now. Wait, I could have done it. What? Okay, but if they attack me, Vacuum Wave kills. And then I think we're good from there, maybe? I, I really don't know. I knock it out there. This is speed. Okay, that's really bad. But I think it might be okay. They go through the calm mind. 
That did literally nothing. But if I go you, can I live a dazzle if I Terra? What is what happens here? Do I just die? Ah, it just dies. GG. I mean, I kind of knew that the Scream Tail was going to be the problem in the end. Keldeo couldn't beat it, and the whole game plan was having Keldeo beat it. So it is what it is. That was still a really successful session. I think we lost twice. Once to that team and once to Garganacle just kind of walling me, right? But outside of that, we did luck one guy with his Garganacle and then we hacked something else on that team that I can't remember anymore. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to sub and I'll see you next time.